The following radio interview was recorded live with Cindy Marin Angel of Big Media USA and Your Dream Wedding Radio Talk Show. Her guest, Bart Smith, author of Laws of the Bedroom. Hello and welcome back to Your Dream Wedding. I'm Cindy Marion Angel. We're in our second segment and we have Bart Smith on the line. Hi, Bart. Hello. You are the author of Laws of the Bedroom, What Men Need to Know About Sex and Pleasing a Woman. <laughs> what better a topic could we have on the Your Dream Wedding Show than how to make everyone's sex life great and how to make men fantastic lovers? That's right. You have a great, well, you have great quotes all the way throughout the book of famous people, but one is something that's my personal favorite that um, I've cherished. I was so delighted to find it. It's by Oscar Wilde. It says, men always want to be a woman's first love. Women have a more subtle instinct. What they like is to be a man's last romance. Yes. I love that. It is very true. It is very true. Your book is such a fun read. My only complaint is that I had to keep putting it down. <clears throat> uh, I was getting turned on. <laughs> oh, well, that's a natural reaction. <laughs> it is, because, you know, your book is so fantastic. It, it goes through all these different laws of the bedroom, including, you know, how to be a great husband and how to take care of your wife and the difference of taking care of a woman, you know, that you're going to be with long term. There's tons of tips in here. I mean, uh, it's so many that you could just, you know, open the book, point a finger down and go, okay, I'll do that one tonight. Exactly. Now, what made you such a fantastic, uh, gosh, I should say, expert on uh, how to please a woman? Because you're right on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that there's a, a simple principle underlying everything inside the book, and that is uh, a couple of things. Number one, for us guys, you know, and we can all uh, agree on this one, that what we do in our life, we work, we, we get the car, the bank account, we strive, we achieve. We're driven to do something, and that's to provide, to give. We are givers. We don't even know it. We don't even give ourselves credit for that. And it's interesting because what are we doing? We are doing it to please you, the female, the woman. What yeah. do we strive for? We want to get that. We don't want to get that big job because, you know, it'll, like, give us a bunch of money. And Oh, yeah, sure, it will. But I'm doing it with the end result that, hey, I can attract a female into my corner to say, hey, you know what, Bart? You're a good guy. You're responsible you got this net going for yourself um wow you know i want to learn more about you this is great i'd like to learn more about you the principles inside laws of the bedroom really what's underlying a lot of it is the reward and return when you are patient giving caring when you're looking out for her the return to you is 300 percent yeah they always say if mom ain't happy ain't nobody happy <laughs> <laughs> You know, but uh, I think it, for my, myself personally, I'll, I'll speak for myself, whereas I decided early, early, early in my age, in my youth, to, you know, treat every woman, girlfriend, grandma, aunt, mother, friend, to treat them in a way that kind of like, almost like a, I'm going to say the word queen, and I want that to be, I want that to be received right. Oh, honey, be bring it on. Yeah, exactly, because <laughs> you know what, I mean, think about it, you know, when a man marries a woman, she becomes his queen, yes. he becomes the king, and yes. we make a great kingdom together, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But um, I just saw great, great benefits from putting any woman, whether it's my grandma or my mom or my girlfriend, putting them first in my life, ahead of me. In other yes. words, whatever I do, I will... What's that song of Brian Adams? Whatever I do, I do it for you, <laughs> something like that. Yes. So same well, kind of thing. And, and you talk about, I think, the biggest mistake that men make and half the reason why they sorry, don't get laid, uh, is because they're not taking the time to really, if I'm smiling and I'm happy and I'm relaxed and I'm, and I'm just enjoying a man's company, you know, my, my fiancé, my boyfriend that I hope to become my fiancé, my husband, you can have whatever you want. <laughs> You know, I think when men rush things or, or think of themselves or get demanding and don't take, you say over and over in this book, to take the time to let a woman warm up. To, you know, men sometimes, because they want their major sexual organ touched right away, they assume women do, and women don't want that right away. They want everything except that. And I think that that if, if if everybody just read the first page of your book, if these guys would really listen, uh, they'd get a lot farther. Here's a great tip for all men out there, and women will love this and they'll agree with this. Men, if you want to spend time with a naked woman, you know, your wife, your fiancé, your girlfriend, if you want to spend time with a naked woman 
And a lot of time, hey, who wants to spend 15 minutes with a naked woman? I want to see no hands. How many want to spend five hours, eight hours, all day? Don't we dream of, like, you know, women on our mind all the time? Okay, if you want that, give her everything she wants first. Yes. Give her everything she wants. Give her everything. Multitask on her. Apply all the erogenous zones at the same time simultaneously. You Give talk her about time. Kissing. Just, just go back to kissing. 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 What it's does so she important. want? It takes 20 minutes, approximately, for the female body to completely, you know, oh. lubricate the the uh, the cervix, ra- raises, you know, the vaginal walls lubricate. I mean, there's there's something happening there. It's not just oh, we want foreplay for no reason. Here are some you know? laws. Here's some laws for you. Number one, yeah, Laws of the Bedroom, the name of the book and also the name of your website. Lawsofthebedroom.com. Yes. Number one, if you, and we're going to get into the act for a moment here, a couple of laws here. This is very important. If you yourself as the man have to take the initiative to place your rocket ship, you know, uh, near her space station, if you have to do those <laughs> things yourself, then you got a problem. Because the way the system works, when you spend time with her, and you give her those things first, trust me, it's when she then grabs hold of your bat and says, I want to play ball. Come here, please. Now I need it now. This is the way to be when a woman begs, grabs, finally calls, says, I am ready, please. That's when we do our job. Absolutely. And you also talk about tone of voice. Uh, I know many fights with my ex-boyfriend were about the tone. <laughs> tone? What do, you, what do you mean? Yeah, right. What do you mean? You know, no, the tone of low. Now, I also dated a guy who the entire time I was kissing him, he would say, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And that's a positive af- affirmation, and it was just like, all right, yeah ha. Huh? <laughs> that's the first thing that a man can do to start working on himself to be a greater guy, more attractive guy, um, more appealing guy to his gal, his tonality. And that tonality means patient, slow, easygoing, laid back. Hey, how you doing? Hey, tell me about your day. You know, using those low tones and some like uh, gravelly kind of talk in there. Hey, tell me about your day. I really want to know. Yeah. Slow. It's just a little so- seduction. Because women, we perk up pretty quickly to seduction. You know? <laughs> One of the laws of the bedroom is take your time undressing her and let her undress you. I think men make this mistake all the time. They're whipping off their clothes all the time. I personally enjoy unbuttoning a man's shirt. That's right. You know, I want to see, I want to do that. That's right. Sexier before I see you in your uh, BVDs and black socks. You know, give me a minute and <laughs> you know I mean? see you in your dress pants with your shirt off. Again, these laws, if you take the initiative in some of these areas yourself, because you personally have the desire to serve your needs first, wrong, stop right there focus everything on her when you walk into the room you're taking care of everything you're there with her and you're letting the whole process go at her pace because when you do trust me 20 minutes later just like you said 20 30 minutes later that uh, excellent little moist valley of wet love down there is so ready (laughs) so ready you don't have to do anything she just says come here come here that's why i had to keep putting the book down yeah and and that's permission (laughs) it the number one obstacle a man has, when it comes to making love to a woman, is her permission. She has to give permission. One, you can kind of force yourself on her, but that's not right. That breaks no. the law. Yes. But the law says to obey her in the sense of letting her give you permission. And how do you do that? Like you just said, the low talks, the you know tonality, uh, letting her undress you, get her warmed up to the process. Think of her in that way and let her come to you. If you have to go to her a little bit, like here's a great little example. You're on the couch, the two of you. And if you have to inch over to try to get close to her, wrong. You need to stay right in that corner, continue to talk to her in great tones of voice that draw her closer like you just talked about, the seductiveness. And then when you have that, when it's at that moment and you're looking at each other, the man does something like this with a, with a finger. He just goes, come over here. That's right. And she comes over there. That's right. And that's permission. She gives you permission now to... Make out with her, do and and don't be in a rush. Don't rush things. You don't rush a good good cake or a brownie coming out of the oven. No way. I make some of the world's best chocolate chip cookies in the entire world. Yes, you do. Bartscookies dot com. You can check yes. it out. There's no way you want to pull those cookies out before they're mm, before they're ready. 
You right. want to let them cook just in the right time, and when they come out, they're chewy, gooey, and, and mm. I think this Laws of the Bedroom book is also a good book for couples in general. I mean, I think it's good to have men have it kind of in their back pocket and tuck it away, but for women, too, I think it's um, fascinating. You have a great a whole two pages of location, location, location. You have all these different ways as a checklist, places that you could have sex with your honey, which I love, and there's, there's just a ton of them. You know, sex underwater, uh, sex in the woods, sex in a pub, uh, sex in a pool, in a sauna, in a closet, in a doorway. I mean, all the different places you can go and, and take it as a little fun adventure. Breaks the monotony. The, it introduces variety. Absolutely. And I mean, stories. there's nothing more fun than almost getting caught somewhere. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> or the threat of. And you also have laws of the bedroom, give her favors and coupons for pleasure. You have all little things, you know, like, here, honey, you can cash this in for an oil rub down, or I'll be your sex slave for the night, or a weekend getaway, or making love under the stars. You have great ideas in here, really, Bart. Yeah, did you get to my hotel checklist? I, I read the whole book, believe it or not. I, I flipped through this thing so fast. The hotel yeah. checklist specifically uh, gives men a checklist on how to prepare the hotel getaway that we just talked about. Oh, yes. Um, from the candles to the food, you know, to the igloo with the cooler with the food and the chips. I mean, because at 3 a.m. You take a night and get out of town. Exactly. Or get in town into a hotel room by yourself. But preparing that hotel room with, uh, let's say you, you rent the room ahead of time. You go to the room. You prepare it. You get the candles ready. Do not light them unless you are present for the rest of the night. I don't Here. want the hotel burning down. Prepare the candles in the right area. Get the uh, the beverage of your choice. Get those ready. Have everything ready. Have cards throughout the entire room, flowers throughout the entire room. Bring your own custom CD music so you have your own music. Women love surprises like that. When they when you show up to the door, you say, honey, here's going to be our weekend uh, getaway. Here's our palace I've prepared. The first thing she just says is, mm. she doesn't say anything. She jumps right into your arms, and you all just start making out for a couple hours. And the whole weekend is like something you've never experienced before. And you're really big in this book on taking time because you're right. Women are multi-orgasmic. A clitoris is strictly there for pleasure. And, you know, the right man always lets her come first. <laughs> exactly. And that's a law. She comes first, bro. Hello. When, uh, and, and check this out. Here's some, some facts and statistics of uh, real-life experience. You know, we're coming up on a break, Bart. I wanted to hear that right sure. after the break. Cindy, Mary, and Angel were on with Bart Smith with Laws of the Bedroom. So we've got five minutes and 20 seconds coming up, so we'll go over that. And sure. Well, uh, I love your great husband qualities. I want to talk about that. And then uh, is there something else you want to mention? I was just going to mention uh, once you have helped her achieve one orgasm, the second one is easier. The third one is easier. The fourth okay. is easier. Let's, let's, let's go right into That's all of that. That's important. If she's okay. not achieving the big O, then she's being robbed. The laws are being broken. All right. Here we go, right? And welcome back to Your Dream Wedding. I'm Cindy Mary and Angel. I'm here with Bart Smith, who's written The Laws of the Bedroom. You can buy the book at lawsofthebedroom.com. There is an S on the back. What men need to know about sex and pleasing a woman. Okay, so jump right in with what we were talking about before the break. We were talking about helping a woman achieve orgasm. Yes. And it is her right to achieve orgasm first before the man fires his rocket fuel. Amen, brother friend. Now, here's the important thing. We've got to help her achieve that first orgasm. And many times it can be done with, of course, as we know, a clitoral stimulation, also with your rocket uh, lodged cutely in her little space station. That's real cool. And when you're helping her achieve that O, don't stop. Steady. Steady is, a, you know, right there. Bam, she hits the O. And let her ride that O so she feels it. And, oh, because her memory banks are going to remember it. And she's going to be able to call upon that later when she's stressed during her day. She's going, oh, yeah, but last night, my man, he just made me rock. Uh -huh. And what happens is, first, once you achieve one O, in that same evening, she's going to achieve a second O faster, quicker. Because she had the experience of the first one, she's going to remember she's going to do it a second time. And even a third time, it is very possible in one evening for a woman to have upwards of 10 12, 15, even 20 big O achievements. Okay, her. here's my question, though, right. or my statement or my observation is that particularly younger men, let's just go there, um, who aren't as experienced, sometimes they don't, they don't know that women need time in between as well, you know, sure. or... Or, or is are they supposed? Are women supposed to come two, three times before a man comes once? I mean, what are we talking about here? All right. Well, number one, 
a man has a particular physical makeup where once he fires his rocket fuel, there's something that sets in just naturally and physically that kind of conks him out a little bit. It's physical, and it's good, because if men just kept going, 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 my gosh, I mean, you know, that's why God made us have to have a sleep cycle. You know, uh, okay, you guys are, you know, you need to take a rest. I'm going to put you out. I mean, naturally, just like the woman, she has her cycle. Yeah. Okay, that's a period for her to rejuve. So a man has this thing. So what the man's going to focus on is pleasing his honey for as many hours as possible before he fires off his rocket fuel. That doesn't mean that he's not having a good time with his uh, his cute little naked honey. Okay. Okay, but that takes a lot of control. From well, that. you know what? Yeah, and so does driving a car. So please, I hope you practice. Okay. <laughs> okay, look, if you want to be a great lover, you need practice. Uh, gee, honey, can I practice and give you plenty of hours of massage and love making and talking, you know, sweet nothings in your ear all night long? Do you mind if we practice? <laughs> I don't think she's going to, you know, deny you. And the thing is, too, like you say, once you've given woman an orgasm, uh, anything you want, go for it. <laughs> well, the, the, line is, the line is this, honey, how, how have you done tonight? I mean, you know, uh, have you enjoyed yourself so much? And so, Oh, my gosh, I love you so much, you know. It says, honey, would you, do you mind if we do it this one little way, like for a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes, you know? I would really like, oh, are you kidding? For you, anything? That's right. So the idea here, the, the bottom line is service. Here's what you say. Honey, allow me to be a, a servant to you. Let me serve you. And she'll turn to you and say, no, honey, let me serve you. And uh-huh. then you say right then, honey, let us serve each other. Uh-huh. And that enters into the whole realm of why men and women get together that's to bond, to ultimately marry, because that whole element of sex is a, is a fire. It can warm you or it can burn you. And sex is such a problem in relationships. It seems like, you know, after a while it dwindles and da-da-da. And I, I simply say that women aren't being approached correctly. Well, there's two reasons. Uh, you know, one, we live in a very oversexed culture. That means that we are being told to perform every day on the hour, etc. We were not made that way. We were made to come together, yes. But we are also made to do many other wonderful things on this earth for other people as well. Sex should not be the number one foci in our entire your life. It is a piece of it. It is a gift to the relationship. It is not the, you know, everything. It can't be and it's not. But our culture promotes it, you know, the opposite. So sex, and here's the great tip, let's see, absence makes the heart grow fonder, um, you know, like in sales. Uh, you always leave the customer wanting more. You never leave them fully satisfied. So with your honey doll, guys, what we're going to do is when she wants it, we're going to say to her, oh, you, you want it? Oh, I tell you what, let's let's hold off like a, a, an evening or just a day or so, and I'm going to keep tabs on you. I'm not going to forget about you, honey, because I love you. But I'm going to let that, that fever in you burn and grow. It's like the refrigerator. Just because you went down to Costco and you bought $100 worth of stuff that will feed you for the entire month, you don't go and eat it all in one night. Right. Just because she's lying there next to you doesn't mean you're going to go have some every night. No, hold back. Hey, guys, go sleep in the spare bedroom. Go sleep in your office at the home office. I have a home office, you know. Separate yourself for a little bit. Uh you know, familiarity breeds contempt and all that kind of stuff. And we live in a very close culture area, so you know, we need to just be patient. A lot work yourself up. You don't go and you don't go out to your favorite restaurant every night. You That's don't, right. You don't eat ice cream every night. Bart, we're running out of time, but I okay. just wanted to say that your book is fantastic, Laws of the Bedroom. I think the major thing that I got from it is is really patience and how to approach a woman. And there's so many tips in here for men and how to, you know, get their practice and get themselves going and, and all different great ideas. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And go to the Laws of the Bedroom, the name of the book, and also the name of your website. Lawsofthebedroom.com. And uh, check it out. I'm Cindy Marion Angel on Your Dream Wedding. Okay, that was it. We went a little over, but I think it was worth it. I think your book is really great, Bart. Thanks, Cindy. Yeah, I enjoyed meeting you. Yeah, you too. The radio interview with Bart Smith, the author of Laws of the Bedroom, was recorded live with Cindy Marin Angel of Big Media USA and Your Dream Wedding radio talk show with her guest, Bart Smith, author of Laws of the Bedroom, Naturally. Visit lawsofthebedroom.com and check out our press room for more radio interviews with Bart Smith and author of Laws of the Bedroom.